After Attention pour les débuts de la séquence d'allumage de lanceur. Beginning of the, um, yes. the ignition sequence. <laughs> right, everybody, we shall let you Alors, watch the launch. Um, best wishes to allumage everyone. Du triétage. Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Décollage. Always spectacular. We're Impressive. off. <laughs> Heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. We're burning five engines, one on the core stage and four on the boosters. The boosters, though, are the ones that are doing all the work here because their job is just to haul us against the gravity of the Earth. Tell us about them. Yeah, the boosters are providing 80% uh, of the, the thrust now, right now. They are four identical conical shaped boosters strapped to the second stage and the uh, RD-107A engine uh, is powered by the liquid oxygen and kerosene. That's the same propellant used for the, the three main stages of the Soyuz. And each engine has four combustion chambers and nozzles. Now we're getting some spectacular images here as we uh, fly through the Earth's atmosphere. We can see there the, uh, the trace of uh, the propellant. We are very lucky because we have uh, a daylight launch and we can see it uh, until very high in the sky. And if we're really lucky, we might get to actually see those boosters um, falling away in real life. So the uh, launcher is sending us telemetry signals. Um, and uh, here we go. We're getting the uh, booster cut off. And we can actually see them. Those four dots on the screen. There yes. they go. <laughs> Flying away. The four boosters. boosters. Heading back down to Earth. So uh, tell us what we're looking at on the left-hand side of the screen. Tim. Yes, on the left uh, side of the screen, you have, uh, in fact, the uh, predicted the trajectory profile. And you have the, the, dot, the dot on the curve, which is the actual position of the launch vehicle. The the bord sont Everything is nominal uh, on board, so good news. And the A stands for the altitude. So we are, the, we are now at the 68 kilometer and the V for speed. And we're now burning the main core stage, uh, or the block A, and that burns for just under five minutes. Yes, the block A is... Uh, propulsion is normal. Everything is normal. Uh, the, the, the block A is a hammer head uh, shape uh, to, to accommodate the, the boosters. It's composed of two hutch tanks of propellant, LOX and kerosene, and the propulsion is provided by the RD-108A engine. You have, a, already, you have uh, a, as for the boosters, four combustion chambers, uh, along with the uh, four vernier thrusters. And uh, the fairing uh, we're looking at here, at the top of the vehicle, it's got the satellites inside and it's protecting them from the rigors of the launch, isn't it? Yeah, it protects the satellites from external environment first on ground, once the satellites are encapsulated, and then during flight, protecting them from different fluxes and aerodynamic uh, pressure and heating with dense atmosphere. As soon as the aerothermal flux becomes lower than satellite acceptable value, the fairing is shittisant. And of course we are flying through the, the dense atmosphere of the Earth, which is roughly about 100 kilometers thick, and as we get to the outside of the atmosphere, the friction is reduced, and uh, the satellites are, are able to bear it. 